I grew up in a family that was very uh, technically oriented. My father was an a electronic technician um, and a circuit designer, and it was very natural for me to get involved in the technical aspect of the recording thing, but also my mother, being an artist, um, sort of gave me that more artistic bent. And I went to school in New York in uh, the mid-70s to the very first uh, audio engineering school in the country, Institute of Audio Research. I have a lot of experience with uh, arranging and producing, uh, and my experience as a composer, a songwriter of uh, many years, and a, a performing musician, uh, I feel gives me a lot of uh, perspective on how music can be treated and presented. All my musical experience makes me uh, a good producer. I built the studio myself in 2001 um, and it uh, is built from the ground up specifically to be a studio. Uh, it's a double shell construction meaning there's two sets of exterior walls, two sets of rafters, and there's a space in between to isolate the structure from the outside so the soundproofing is very uh, very good uh, the room has been shaped in such a way that it focuses the sound on the main listening position for monitoring purposes plus the rest of the room has been tuned so that it's very pleasant sounding and, and smooth response for music and speech well this is the control center of the studio this is uh, it's a pro tools equipped uh, HD Pro Tools, uh, 32 channels of input and 96 or more channels output. Um, and we have a number of uh, boutique preamps such as the United Audio, the Trident, and uh, Avalon preamps and Grace preamps. So we have a really nice uh, analog front end to go into the computer and we've got hundreds of plugins to apply to, to the tracks for shaping sound. The process of recording music is very different than the process of performing live. Uh, what we're trying to do in the studio is create a recording, create a work of art that bears up to repeated listening over and over again, whereas most of the time a live performance is something that just happens in the moment and it's a wonderful expression and it comes and it goes and it might be have a lot of uh, a little bits of flaws and, and warts on it so to speak but um, it works in the moment and sometimes a live performance can be a great recording but uh, many times we have to take a different approach to the way we create the music in the studio in order to get to that same end and end up with a piece that can be listened to over and over again. I feel I have something to offer to both the experienced professional musician and the first timer, the, a, a newbie in the recording studio. I've done uh, puppet shows, I've done voiceover work, I've had uh, seven-piece Dixieland jazz bands in here, I've had rock and roll bands, I've had folk musicians, I've had classical musicians. I've pretty much run the gamut. I really put a premium on taking the time to listen to what people's ideas are, to listen to them performing, and help them find what it is that's going to bring out the best in their performance. I am of service to the artist um, and I consider that my highest calling. It's, it's above being an engineer or a producer. It's, it's my serving your needs to create your artistic expression.